So look at the difference between what they're doing. Fund funds analysts, economists, this is fundamental analysis over here, right? They have a lot of problems, especially fund managers with restrictions to sector. So they often have to, because they have, I, I get exposed to different sectors, and if, a, if they have a big move in the markets, then they end up being overweight a sector. So here's the good companies, and they, ha they have to balance it. So they have to sell the companies that are doing good and buy the ones that are doing bad in order to balance the sector out again in the different sectors. So it's the opposite of what we do. You know, we, you know, you, 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 it's not the way you, that you want to do it. So they got restrictions in cash. They believe time's important. They dollar cost average, and they buy and hope. And when, and when, and you know, even if they decide they're going to invest for a shorter time frame, as soon as it starts losing money, then they put it in a drawer. And now it's long term, because it'll eventually go back out. Okay, what we want to do is combine the best of both disciplines. The last real job I had was with Merrill Lynch, and I sat at a desk for a couple of years trading interest rates. And the, 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 a lot of material, fundamental material, came across my desk every day. And I said, these are smart people. There must be something I can do with this fundamental analysis to tie it in with technical. And because at that time, most, this, this was 15 years ago, at that time, most of the uh, um, commentaries was that you had to be one or the other. You either did fundamental or you did technical. You didn't do them both, right? And so there was really at odds, at odds with each other. And all, you know, I, I, what I worked out is that if you take the companies that the, that the professionals, the experts are recommending, and trade them when they're going up, and I, I got three rules for when, when it's going up, and when it meets those criteria, that's when I buy it. So I'm never buying anything on the way down, which means I miss every bottom. So a lot of the time, what happens is the, the experts will come in and say, that's really good value now. And, all, they, they, and if it goes down to here, they'll say it's good value too. And then they'll say it's good value here, right? But at this point in time, if the market goes up, they're going to make more money than me because I can't get in it until it's already rising. But that's all right because if you, if you go back and you test it out and you wait for these rises, in fact, I'll, I'll show you one with the, with the 18 safe starter stocks that the experts gave mom and dads. They said, these are, these are the safe companies for mom and dad to buy. They fell 30-some percent before they went up. And so all I did was take those, that group of companies and went, you know, I missed every bottom, bought every one of them when the market was on its rise. And, and uh, when they broke even, about uh, 14 to 15 months later, we were up 19 percent. So you're better off waiting for the market to turn, miss every bottom, get it as it's in a rising trend. Okay. So what we can do when we have a, a strategy and we have a set of rules is we can go back in time and we can test it. And what we want to do is have a success rate. Now, how successful do we need to be in our trading? Right here. We need to have 50% is all. Half the trades need to be good, half the trades bad, and we can make money. The reason is, is our profit loss ratio is going to be, we have to have a strategy where our, our gains are greater than our losses. And if, we have a gain, if, our, and if our gains are twice as big as our losses, then we're going to make money with just 50%. All right? So it's not that difficult to do better than 50%. So we need to cut our losses. And in order to do that, you've got to work out where you're wrong before you get in. That's the key. Before you enter the market, you work out where you're wrong which isn't that difficult, because if you're buying here and it goes below that point there, you're out. You get a little bit of room. I'll show you how we do that, all right? So you're getting in on the rise. If, you're, if it goes back down again, you're going to put a stop under here and you're out. So you can work out exactly how much you risk on, on every single trade before you take the trade. And that's one of the keys, and that's how you get the discipline too, because you know what you're supposed to do is you're supposed to follow the rules. If you have a rule and it's written down and you don't follow it, you're in trouble. And you're actually in worse trouble if it goes down here and turns around and goes up. Because now, you didn't follow the rule and you made money. So the feedback you got was that you got smarter than the rules. And that's not the way you want. You want to stick with the rules. OK? So we can have our profit loss ratio. We can know when we go into cash. This is important, when to be in cash and when to be in the market and when to be out of the market. And we're going to use timing and we're going to stick with rising trends, all right?